Well, I grew up with an anger issue, an anger problem. I'm gonna be honest with you. I grew up with, with, with this I hate the world, the world hates me kind of attitude. Like I feel like everybody was against me, was against Quincy. Nobody liked Quincy. My parents had it out for Quincy and things like that. Or I got picked on and things like that. So what's the, what's the reaction of that? If someone's getting picked on, you usually want to fight quickly. You make quick decisions without thinking. Because when anger sets, you don't take time to think. You just react. And then you worry about the consequence afterwards, correct? Uh -huh. Right? You get some feedback. You get some uh, feedback, okay? Yes. We all awake, right? We all awake in here? Mm -hmm. All right? We all paying attention? Yep. Right? Okay. So in this area where I grew up, I grew up around drugs, crack cocaine, prostitution, gangs. Right in this one area. My mom used to sell weed, smoke weed, throw parties right in the house where I was growing up. My mom's friends used to come in the house and do the same thing. They hang out, and that's all they did. Because that was their job. They job, they were drug dealers. And they would hang out, they were friends with my mom, and I would be around this at the age seven, eight, nine years old. In this environment. I knew what weed smelled like and knew what it was before I ever knew what it, that you smoked it. From the age of that age, it smelled good to me. I didn't know what it was, it just smelled good to me. I'm gonna be honest with you. But I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what kind of effect that was gonna have on my life later on either because I was too young to understand it. But because I was in that environment, it grew on me. So when it came up to me later, it was easier for me to just be involved in it and get involved in it because I figured it was okay. I figured it was okay because my parents was doing it. So it was okay. But sure enough, I've come to understand and grow up now and understand that it's not okay. So in this area I grew up, you know, my first girlfriend in the fifth grade, her name was Annabelle. Beautiful girl, Filipino and black, long, pretty hair. She was gorgeous. Ooh. <laughs> 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 he said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> she was gorgeous. But she, too, grew up in a bad environment. <laughs> she grew up in an environment where her family members were the ones selling drugs. She grew up in an environment where her family members sold her the drugs. She grew up in an environment that changed her life forever. She became addicted to crack cocaine from trying it one time. It didn't take more than once. It didn't take a year of doing it and, and experimenting. It took one time. In the fifth grade, I would see her as she went through this process in the age as I, as I was growing up. I would see her and she would run the other direction because she was embarrassed, ashamed of what she had became. She had an awesome future. She was very smart. One decision changed her whole life. One decision to fit in changed her whole life. Pretty shocking, huh? Fifth grade. We don't think we started doing that until we get about ninth grade, high school, junior high school. This was elementary. And she had just moved here. It wasn't like she lived here, she had just moved here. That was her first year here. <clears throat> Things happen like that in our lives. And we don't think how important it is. 
or how dangerous, dangerous it is. We just do things to fit in. Get off the desk, please. We just do things to fit in. Or to be cool. Or to fit in with the crowd. I'm going to tell you what fitting in the crowd got me. I used to run away from home. Before your age. And your age. Worrying my mom. Not understanding that I was causing her heartache and pain. I thought my mom was just unhealthy and she was getting old. But my mom was having health issues because of me. We don't think about that stuff. We don't think how, how hurtful and how dangerous for someone to be crying every night about us worried about us, stressing about us. We take things for granted sometimes. Because we don't have jobs, we have to worry about what we're gonna wear. You guys like wearing these white t-shirts, these khakis and these shoes every day? No. I know I didn't when I went to a behavioral school. Yes, I went to a behavioral school. And I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. But the more time you spend in here, the harder you make your decisions and your future to become. We can continue to take the easy path in life, just enough to get through and get by. If you want to be an athlete, you're going to have to do better in your books. Sometimes it takes sacrifice, but it takes hard work. Your dreams, you think they're just going to fall in your lap? I'm still working at this. It's hard work, especially when you have a wife and three kids. You have to want to change in order to change. I don't stand here just to talk. This is for you. This is not for me. Because we don't feel like it. What else? <laughs> What else? So used to it. What else? Because deep down, you really don't care and don't want to change. Some of us have some bad things spoken over our lives. When I was young, you just like your daddy. That's what I would hear. Quincy ain't going to do nothing with his life. He ain't gonna amount to nothing. Quincy just wanna chase girls and smoke weed. If I could count how many times I heard that crap, if I was still allowing those statements to shape who I was today, I would not be standing right here in front of you speaking with you. I'd be somewhere sitting, pouting, complaining, repeating what was said to me about my own self. Somebody can tell you, you know what? You're wasting your time. You ain't got no future. You're just like your daddy. You're going to be just like him. The only way that can be true is if you receive it to be true. If you believe that you're going to be like that, that's the only way it has power over you. And that's what all of you If you let someone's words, negative words, shape you, then that's what you will become. Don't hang around negative people. 